All right, y'all. Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. Why is this happening? Why the fuck is this the biggest boxing event of all time? And lucky for me, it's happening in my hometown. But I don't think I'm going to go watch it because... We don't even know if this is going to be a real event yet. And tickets are like 300, 400, 500 thousand bucks a piece. I don't really feel like it's worth that much money to go see this. Especially if I can just stream it for free on Netflix. Because you can just stream the event free on Netflix. And I think it, I think it might be... I think the reason that they are fighting is because it is orchestrated by Jake Paul's manager, Netflix, and a bunch of people behind the scenes, and not necessarily Jake Paul or Mike Tyson. I feel like a lot of people look at it as who who beefed with who, what, why are they fighting, but you got to realize how much money people are making off of this, how much money Netflix is about to make off this, how much money... Um, AT, my my city's about to make off of this. My hometown of Arlington, the one I'm in right now. And if you... Honestly, who do I think is going to win? I'm going to have to put my money on Tyson because of his track record and the fact that he has so much more to lose from this. But I also think that Jake Paul is a pretty good chance. I hate to say it, but he's way younger. He's... Mike's in retirement, and I don't know why he went out of retirement for this shit, just to become, do the biggest fight of all time, probably go back into retirement, and then, yeah, I mean, actually, I do understand why he would do it, maybe he, maybe he was running out of money, maybe he was looking, maybe he got bored, and he was like, you know what? I'm going to be, I'm going to do the biggest fight of all time, go back into retirement. I'm going to be balling for the rest of my life, way beyond what I'm doing right now. Because he was fighting back in the 2000s. He wasn't fighting, like, 1990s. He he was fighting, like, 1990, 2000s, even before that. So, imagine the difference between the money you could make back then and the money you could make now from a fight. But he's missed out on that because he's been gone. Ever since, like, however many years he's been in retirement, so <clears throat> that's I th- I think that might even if Mike Tyson does not win, he's still making bank off this. Same with Jake Paul, and same with Netflix, same with all of them. So either way, it's a win-win for all of them. It's a win-win for my city. So I'm happy it's happening, but I don't think that they should be fighting. I do not think that they should be fighting. It's it's disrespectful to the sport for Jake Paul to be fighting Mike Tyson. Unless my if Jake Paul wins it is disrespectful to boxing as a whole. But Mike Tyson wins. Come on y'all. We knew it was going to happen.